Welcome to our week two announcements. I want to start by saying I know whoo, things are crazy in these COVID times. So I'd like to give an extension on week one work. If there's something that you missed in week one, you're welcome to go back and complete it until the end of this week, which is Sunday the 30th. The main thing I want to discuss today is understanding the thematic project because it's the majority of your grade this semester. And I think it can take a while uh, to wrap your head around what I'm asking for because it's not a typical assignment where you're, you know, doing some research and uh, making a report about facts about things. We're trying to explore the subtext of some of the ideas and objects that we're encountering this semester. And we're doing that by looking at what kind of ideas things represent. Right, what kinds of themes that we can see as we look at a building, a piece of sculpture, um, a philosophy, or a, a law. And that can take a while to understand. So please, as much time as you can take in these early weeks in the semester to understand where we're headed is going to help you succeed in this class. So we're going to do a tour of the supporting materials. And I'm going to pitch, please, contacting me if the project is unclear after you've spent a couple hours looking around at stuff. Don't wait. Please don't wait. I can typically clarify things in a 10-minute conversation. So stop by office hours, email me times that you're available to meet. I will be absolutely flexible. I teach online. I understand that you have very busy lives, and I might be meeting with you on a weekend or an evening. So. Um, Please feel free to tell me when you're available and I'll, I'll make it work. We're going to look at the discussion board. The presentation sign up is underway. I think almost everybody has already signed up for their presentation. If you haven't, go ahead and jump in there and see what weeks are still available. And I'm going to be pointing out opportunities that you can have to get feedback, early feedback on ideas that you have for how themes can be seen in artifacts of a given week. And that's one of the best strategies that you can use is to try to get feedback from me early on before we get into the larger assignments. So let's look at Blackboard. Let's look at the week two folder and some of the things that we have going on. I want to point out that this week there is a lecture which is both on this week's material and it's a sample presentation to give you an idea of how you can start tying themes into artifacts. As we scroll down here, you know, you'll be, and this will also be happening in the folder, you'll be scrolling um, past a lot of supplemental material. Uh, I have loaded videos each week that give a deeper perspective on the material that was being covered in the text, feel free to use those as part of your research for artifacts, right? And what's larger background information and themes which might be coming up in, in the materials for that week. So please dig in. There are both videos in the folder and there are at the very bottom, there's a list of text resources. So feel free to jump in on those. I mean, our textbook is a great start, but you're probably going to want more as you start digging deeper into the details of artifacts. So please feel free to use the things in the weekly folders that I'm providing for you. I want to point out, let's see, what do we want to talk about first? I want to um, jump into the folder here. At the bottom of the agenda each week, there are discussion questions for your reference. So you can in one place see all your possible topics for the week. This is the one that I want to point out and highlight is this first one. Choose an artifact from this chapter. It can either be something that's covered in the textbook or something that comes from the same era and explain how it represents a particular theme. So I'll be giving you feedback on that and letting you know if you seem to be on track and if I can understand your the kind of reasoning that you're using. Oftentimes, uh, because we post through Sunday, I won't be uh, giving feedback until the following week, but I always give feedback on discussion board. And particularly when, it, like in this case, I've promised that I will be giving each person feedback. It will show up. You just might have to look for it. All right, so let's scroll down here a little bit. 
results. Like, so here's that lecture I was, I was mentioning in the sample presentation. The supplemental materials, right? They're, I mentioned before that I'll be giving you those. So it creates a scrolling problem, as we call it in the biz. So I know that you're going to have to keep scrolling and scrolling, maybe past these cool um, innovation artifacts that you could <laughs> use in a presentation um, or in an artifact analysis. So we keep scrolling. Here are the textual resources I mentioned. And then we're going to start to get into some of the items which show up later in the agenda. Right Here's where you find the quiz. Here's where you find a link to the discussion board. And here's where you find reminders to review the thematic project material if you haven't yet. So over here on the left, this little icon means that if you click on this title, you're going to get linked to someplace else on Blackboard. And I want to show you what that looks like. Like if we click here, boom, it'll take you magically through the Blackboard um, wormhole. But I want to show you in the left-hand navigation, sorry for the scrolling, where you can find the information all at once. Right, so here's where you find all of the discussion boards that we're going to have. Here's where you find the thematic project material. For a lot of students, and I <laughs> include myself in that, it's helpful to see everything in one place because especially uni universal thinkers, it's helpful. The first thing at the top is the thematic project introduction, which was part of the week one assignments. I can't emphasize enough how important it is that you watch this, watch it multiple times until it makes sense. Contact me if it doesn't make sense, because this lecture is trying to walk through the assignment sheet and explain to you how everything's going to fit together over the semester. Check it out. So if you scroll down in this area, you're going to see the assignment sheet that has calendars and examples. Here's where you submit assignments. And there are links each week. Anything that's due is also going to be linked out into the weekly folders. But if you want to check them out here all in one place, that's also available. And I've included a writing and presentation resource area if you have questions about writing styles or how to put together a presentation. Let's look in here in the assignment sheet for a second. The assignment sheet itself I know it has so much text, which is why I created a lecture, right? Um, but feel free to um, spend some time here. At the beginning, right, you have the calendar with all of the individual due dates over the semester. And then it breaks, then it breaks it down by def defining ideas, right, explaining the individual kinds of assignments. Here's where we get about presentations and how they work, um, source use. So spend some time with that, you know. Print it out <laughs> if you it put put stuff in your calendar because here's where as I said like the majority of points that you're going to be ha having available in this class come here from the thematic project so get these items in your calendar or just screenshot this print it out I don't know tape it by your desk put it in your car I don't know but uh, keep track of these due dates in this folder there is. And a really good example of a close analysis of, of an artifact. This is Goya's 3rd of May. You know, it's from 1808. It's outside of the scope of this class, but it's just such a great example. I wanted to put that in there just so you can see what it's like to really dig down into the details of an artifact and think about what it means. You know, what, what kind of um, themes are being explored in a piece of art in this case. In the examples, if it says just example, that's something that I've put together to try to show you um, how the thematic project works. I've tried to make all of mine on the theme of power for the most part so that you can see how it looks like in various different artifacts and modes. I've also put in student examples of presentations, of artifact explanations. Um, if you are a if you like to know where you're headed, I recommend getting to this one early. So this is a lecture on the final analysis, and this is where we're going to be looking at a paper which has gone through the semester and then come up with this final paper, which ties looks at a contemporary artifact, something that was made in the last 50 years, and looks at kind of the family tree of ideas that are in that artifact and ties it back to other things that, that the student has been exploring over the semester in different eras. So um, for me, I really like to know what the end project's going to look like. So feel free to jump in here and check out the, the you know where we're headed. You don't have to wait. So you could 
feel free to get in there now. There's also another example of um, an essay and that's really great. My final analysis, I have my PowerPoint analysis of um, Beyonce's 2017 Grammy performance. You know, maybe you'll find it helpful. It's really big. I got really excited about it. So, you know, it, it may be overwhelming, but uh, feel free to check out some of the other examples. So that's what we have for you this week. Thank you for hanging uh, with me with the examples uh, and a tour of the materials you have for the thematic project. Again, I can't emphasize enough. Please come visit me. Please um, make an appointment. We'll set up a phone call. I am here to help you succeed. And, um, you know, if you come and say, I don't get this assignment, I'm not going to be offended, <laughs> right? It's my job to explain it. And um, we can we can work through it together. That's my job. I'm, and it's what I love to do. So I'm happy to meet with you. I hope you have a great week. And I will talk to you next week.